decided that I'm just gonna wing up and do my makeup first on camera. Um, I'm just gonna put on like simple makeup today. I'm using the foundation Catrice HD, so it's a liquid foundation. It's actually really good. I'm loving it at the minute. I got it on Christmas and um, been using it since. And the colour matches my skin quite nicely. So I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'm gonna move on and show you the next products that I'm gonna be using. So now that my foundation is all blended, I still need to do my neck. I usually do my neck, but I'm gonna go over it afterwards, guys. Like the lighting in this room is so bad, so please ignore that. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Move it on. Okay, I'll do it in a minute, good girl, okay? Gonna be using this essence mascara mascara um concealer i love this as well it actually is so good i'd highly recommend it and i will get it again i want to look like a clown now but this is how i do it i like to work on a lot i think concealer is really good for when you know, my foundation's grand one supply bar for people that use a really orangey kind of tone foundation. Close out the door, good girl. Thank you. Okay. So I just, usually a lot of people use a beauty blender. Now I have a beauty blender, but I decided that I'd use with the same brush that I used to blend my foundation. And guys, using a concealer makes a big difference to your foundation. Like, I don't know what it is, but it makes your face just look more in place once it's applied. So I'm going to open in this mirror as well because I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. This is how it's looking. And yeah, I'm just going to go in now and use this compact powder. This is like, has a bronzer and a powder in it. Like, all combined in one, which is so handy. Like, I love it. And color oh i'm using the wrong brush great the color isn't the worst so i do contour and then with the darker shades do you want to say hi to everyone hi so hi everyone hi everyone do you want to show me your outfit okay we're going to bend this down this is for ivy you look gorgeous your dress yeah. and your jacket yeah my your little scarf Oh, I'm gonna put it back up. Am and I, yeah, am I shield? yeah, you're beautiful. My makeup is in um, am I, am I a cardboard box at the minute. <laughs> Please ignore that. I'm actually looking for a storage like little box for my makeup. I seen one on AliExpress, but I don't really know if I want to get it or not. It, like it might come back broken or damaged or whatever, because it's plastic and like it's fully plastic, and then. I also seen one of those swingy things that go around on AliExpress. I want that. That's on my to get list for sure. You would have seen by the, like in the beginning of this video that your girl finally made a new YouTube intro. All down to myself. I done it myself. I'm so proud. Like I can't believe I even had the skills to do it because it took me hours and like all day yesterday i was relaxing and i got it done and i'm so pleased with myself for getting it done now i know how to do it so i have a new intro you're going to see that and i added in the music and everything myself now i'm going to be adding in some of this highlighter so this is in the brand catrice and girl wait till you see my makeup in a minute it makes my makeup stand out like I love it and it makes my makeup look really even more blended out like together please ignore the bun as well the bun just isn't doing me any satisfaction today it's whipped everywhere like it's, it's so bad like i just need to put on her tablet because she's she got a new tablet by her nanny for christmas she got the new samsung yeah. galaxy guys like yeah. super spoiled super lucky aren't you yeah and it's been charged so it's the samsung galaxy a7 this was like over 200 to buy i think at the time and yeah like she's all lucky and you should see the tablet that i'm using then and i don't even use this like it's hers obviously oh but i'm just so used to editing with my own shitty old tablet 
And I have a Hawaii one. No, it's not. What is Lenova? It's Lenova, my one. So you just have to wait, okay? Oh, no, it's on. It's on. Yeah, good girl. So I couldn't get the tablet working. It's saying something about IP address, and I just couldn't be arsed right now because I'm doing my makeup. But I'm gonna have to solve that in a minute. I'm gonna give her my phone instead just to keep her quiet because it's living torture when I do my makeup with a toddler around, especially her because she's a chatterbox. But I just wanted to show off my new cover. I got it online, I got it on AliExpress, and it was only like literally about two or three euro. I love it, I love the whole effect, the colors, obsessed. And I'm doing my makeup. What the fuck? And like, excuse my language. Here. And I've just noticed I'm using shitty old makeup brushes when I have these new ones. I've been using shitty old makeup brushes when I have new ones. So I'm going to have to get use out of these. I love these brushes so much. I got these on AliExpress, would you believe it? And they were cheap as well. I actually don't really know the full price. But I know they were cheap. I just can't remember. But yeah, I thought I'd show them off. If you want the link, then just comment down below and I'll link you to it. So now getting back to the makeup. I get very carried away, don't I? Yeah, I'm just going to use the old brush now to finish this up because I started. Probably should have washed them anyways. I haven't yet washed them. Probably good if I do. So that's my highlight done. As I said, the, the whole makeup look comes together once you have your highlighter. I got it in. And now I'm going to be doing my makeup. Okay. So I have this light shadow palette I've been using lately. And it's the brand, I can't even properly see on the camera, but it's the brand La Splash Cosmetic. I got it in glossy box. I don't know if I show, like I've already showed you or what on here. But yeah, I'm just going to use a new brush because I need one. Which brush do I want to use? This one. So, um, I got it on Glossy Box. And it's such a good little palette. These are the colours inside. Like, they're everyday wear kind of colours. Bit of me. And I just can't get enough of the palette. I love it so much. I'm not going to do anything dramatic for my eyes today. Just going to... Do a new colour first, I'm just going to be adding in some white. I don't know what it is, I just always add in white like eyeshadow before I do like the brown lately. This brush isn't kind of spreading as much as I want it to, so I'm going to move on again and use this one, a different one. So now I'm going to be going in with the brown, like it's like really light shade brown. And doing my outer crease <laughs> guys i'm going on is if i'm a makeup artist hair or something but bear with me i just love this palette and then i usually move on to the second eye i'm looking this way because the lighting's above me my ring light is broke but i'm using the stand so you get the drill of how i do my makeup and the few new products that i've added in i just thought i'd show it in today's video this video isn't like this makeup thingy isn't a perfection i'm literally rushing out the door and i decided to film which probably isn't a good idea but yeah i'm gonna finish it off and show you the end result so it looks really nicely blended now compared to the beginning as you can see so let me do it and i'll be back do i look a bit more presentable i think so just finished getting ready now dressed basic but cozy um so i'm just wearing this little two-piece set that I got during the summertime, I actually never wear it, so decided to whack it on today instead of wearing jeans outside. So sick of wearing jeans at this stage, like, I'm just went through a phase now wearing jeans every single day and I've had enough of them, so a little break from the jeans. And then I've just thrown on my little teddy hoodie, whatever it's called, don't even know, but it's cozy, so cozy. I literally live in this. I use this around the apartment all the time as well, as if it's a night coat. Yeah, this is how the makeup turned out. If you're wondering what's going on with these, it's because I need them doing. I haven't had them done in months and I do apologize for the bushiness of them. I'm gonna have them done soon. I'm probably gonna actually do them tonight instead of having them done because I can't wait for a salon to open up and I've never got my eyebrows done in the salon before, fun fact. 
but yeah as you can see no winged liner today just some eyeshadow and mascara and also i never put any mascara not mascara eye pencil under my eyes i just went in and put mascara as well i look a bit sleepy i don't know that explains a lot you would have seen last night that i was i'm just gonna put this down you would have seen last night that i was awoke until four this morning so i was awoke up until four o'clock or was it three o'clock i don't kind of remember and i was like okay my sleeping patron is gone out the window as usual as pure usual like i can't remember the last time i slept proper i went to sleep early woke up early so i said you know what tomorrow's sunday today and i want to have like a normal routine again so if i stay awake all night then tomorrow morning i'll have all these things planned that i want to do today and as well as that i'll go to bed early today and um, tonight but that didn't go to plan it was supposed to you would have seen i'm gonna add in the clip last night at about four o'clock going on for four o'clock i was cleaning out my whole entire wardrobe and i was meant to do that in a vlog a couple of days ago didn't get around to doing it um i just got a notion so i said i'll do my wardrobe and then after i done the wardrobe it took me about what 20 minutes to do focus canon after i done the wardrobe i got tired and i was like you know what I'm going to bed like I'm going to set an alarm for 9.30 in the morning and I'm going to do the things that I want to do that I sussed out my head to do well if I did I woke up this morning the alarm went off turned off the alarm went back to sleep woke up at half 12 and now it's about half two going on for three o'clock and it is a bit later I'm just finished getting ready got babs ready and sorted first but i'm not going to leave my plans slide i am going to get out because it's sunday and at night time every single night i get all these thoughts to my head like do this go to this place get that and i swear to god i'm like an owl at night time the minute I, the next day comes i get up too late and i'm like no all those plans are gone out the window i'm not up for doing any of them now it's so annoying I swear I'm awoke every single night till about four o'clock max and again all these tasks come into my head and I want to get up and I want to go in for a shower I want to do like all these self-care things on myself and I want to film and I want to eat loads of food and chat to you guys and do chilled out sit down videos and yeah it's just like chill out Nikki like what is that even about so I'm just praying that I get my sleeping routine back to normal whenever again that'll be um, but when it does I'm gonna try and be a better version of myself and be happier and get out more because one of my goals for this year is to get out of the apartment and do things I'd get out of the apartment I'm not saying I'm condemned but I feel like sometimes like with anxiety I think you want to do things but you get like pulled back not to do things if that makes sense so with me when something comes to my head like nikki do this do that you have this idea to do that do that now like i should do it now but when i want to do it now it's early hours of the morning and i should be sleeping because your body is not going to function if you don't get sleep so it's you just can't win with it you know but i do hope that you know things change and my routine and I'm going to try my best to vlog as much as I can as well and I love daily vlogging, daily vlogging is me, like it's so me, I love daily vlogging and I'm going to try and be more open as well with the camera this year and get loads of footage and stop being shy, like you are who you are, no one's perfect, if something interests you I do it and that's um, what I have to kind of keep implanted into my head so plans for today anyways getting back. Um, we were going to go to the playground actually actual playground is closed where i live so we're going to go to the playground where it's like for older kids but there's a few things there she can kind of have a go at and there's a big beautiful walkway so we're going to go now soon and we're going to get food as well and what else yeah i'm going to meet my sister so my sister katie is going to meet us with my niece you're going to see in this vlog i'm going to continue the vlog and keep vlogging throughout the video but 
yeah when i'm out and everything i'll video that and then when i'm home i'm gonna get this up so it's not really an exciting vlog but if you guys want daily vlogs then this is my life but even if i do daily vlogs it might tempt me to get out and do things like go for little walks and just feel more positive so that's the plan i'm gonna check back in later guys when i'm with katie and yeah i'm starving i'm so hungry like i need to eat <laughs> just got in the car now guys the weather is actually going downhill it's starting to rain so i don't really know if we're going to be able to go for a walk but i'm going to mcdonald's i'm absolutely starving if the weather is bad we won't be able to go we'll have to wait and see if the weather goes downhill or uphill because at the minute it's not looking good oh my god i was in that drive through for literally about 15 minutes like the queue was just uncalled for oh my god <laughs> mcdonald's chips unreal now what did you get did I you got get an ice cream and chips too i hold them a minute okay i leave them there for you okay so they won't fall she loves ice cream from McDonald's so much. So I wanted mozzarella sticks, but they didn't have them. So I just got two chicken mayo burgers and some fries because I'm a little obsessed. And I got ice cream and chips. Mm. It's actually raining, so I don't know if I'll be going for a walk, but yeah, whatever happens, happens today. All I know is I'm not going back to that barman. Mmm. No. Mmm. Mm. Did you get a Smarty McFlurry? It's good. Yeah. I know, good. There's chocolate on it. There's chocolate on it. Nice. So we just pulled up outside my mother's house. So I'm gonna go in for a bit. I actually don't know what to do now because it's wet outside. Um, I don't know if it's gonna start raining again or what. I don't know if I like. I'm gonna chance it going out in it. And yeah, I'm just like a little hermit now in the car at the minute, but I'm gonna go in and see my mother and my family. Hi everyone, so it's been a couple of hours, clearly, and I'm home now, so I'm just out of the shower. Before I finish the vlog, I'm just gonna be showing you a few products that I'm gonna be using. So obviously my skin is so dry at the minute, but I'm gonna be going in now, cleansing it, and using all the good stuff. I mentioned this brand already, Simple and i was given these products for christmas in a little gift set they're amazing so i'm just going to go through them again showing you these products but yeah feeling a lot better now a lot fresher i'm going to be at my sofa hours doing this hair hate doing my hair so much we got the molly may's filter tan for christmas i've only used it once and when i used it like i didn't moisturize my skin or exfoliate or any of that stuff um, so I've done all that now and I'm going to be going in and giving myself a light coat of this. So I'll let you guys know how I get on with it. I'm not going to be like giving it a full review or anything. I'm just basically putting on a coat and that's it. And yeah, firstly, I'm going to go in now and put on some of my products. So I'm going to go in now and use this one. So this is Rest and Reset Hydrating Gel. So I think I'm going to use that to last. I'm going to put on some moisturizer now. I wear this every single day. This is like one of my favourite products. Love it. So I use so much product. Always. I was gonna wear like a face mask, but I haven't got time to wait. <laughs> I just want to use these products now. I look so pale, so I'm going to be putting a coat of can. Uh, la, 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 coat of can. Talk right, Nikki. <sighs> going to be putting on a coat of can on my face. Um, because lately, I've been feeling so pale. And I used to use this one. 
and I am obsessed. If you're looking for a good face tanner, this is going to be like your go-to. I love it. But I haven't yet tried the Molly Mays tan filter on my face. So I'm going to be going in today and putting on some of that. So I'm going to leave that set for a few minutes. The towel keeps going back. So nice. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the hydrating one. Tonight's my lucky night. Look what I've just found. A tweezers. I didn't even know I had a tweezers. So I'm going to do on my eyebrows while I'm waiting for this cream to dry in. I'm going to get my small mirror right now and go on in and do them. Look how bad my eyebrows are. They I seriously need doing. I hate doing my eyebrows so much. And this eyebrow is always worse than this one. This towel is just so annoying. It's so heavy. I'm just going to leave it off. Oh, I need to comb out my hair as well. So please ignore the state. Should have left this till like in the morning because the lighting isn't doing me any favours at the minute. Why do I go through this much torture? Like why why do I put myself through it? Why don't I just go and do a salon? Like this eyebrow torture. Like it's deadly and it's out of shape. Big time. Anytime I go in around hair, I cry like a baby. So this is the best I can do. They're not 100%. They're not twins. They're sisters. <laughs> and yeah, this one was deadly. Look how bad they are. Like, but they were a lot worse, obviously. They were a lot more hairier before I plucked them. So I'm just happy that they're kind of done. Now I'm just going to be going in and using the same brand again. It's the Rest and Reset 72 Hour Hydrating Gel. So gonna go in now and smother my skin and that it comes in this little tub and obviously you know it's good chef i've used so much already look at that half the tub is used already and i only got it on christmas i just love the feel of this like the texture of it is just and then when it's on your skin then it's like so much better my skin is so soft even doing this now this lasts up to 72 hours so it has to be doing some good shit. So just gonna let that dry in now. And then the last product that, product last product that I'm gonna be using before bedtime is gonna be my eye cream. I love using eye creams lately because my skin here is just all full of lines as you can already see. One there and one here and I just feel like eye creams have to be doing something, you know, for your eyes. And I just love this one. Just loves how it goes on and yeah, it's just a really good product. I find that I'm more awake with it and it definitely is doing something for my eyes. I don't look half as bad as I used to. So I'm using this a couple of weeks now and it's the brand Glossy Box. You would have seen me raving on about it already but when I use this I just kind of dab it on like in three little circles and just go like that just dab 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 and then just kind of spread at the end same for this full of places first dab 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 so just keep it away from the eyes because sometimes I leave it go into my eyes and literally guys it stings like a bit so <sighs> don't leave it go into your eyes. What about my lip balm? So I'm going to be using the same brand, no it's not the same brand sorry this is the Nivea brand. So this is a little lip balm that I got and I just use this on my lips. Anytime my lips are dry especially when I get out of the shower the rest of my face will be really hydrated and so soft from using product. I just like to use sister Katie actually gave me a new product um you guys probably already know if you watch me now for a while that I use like powder on my eyebrows so to fill them in just a brush and some eyeshadow will do the job any powder palette that has like a brown like a dark brown so she actually gave me this the other day it's the NYX 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 don't even know how you pronounce it I'm not really familiar with this brand I haven't really worn it before um, but this is Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, so it's a little pomade and you can use a brush as well obviously. This is much more thicker than any powder, but I'm going to put it to the test, literally like new. She hasn't even really used it, 
and I'm gonna see how I get on with it. So tomorrow I'm gonna use it and hopefully it's good. At last, like two or three hours later, I look a lot more presentable now. Look like a ghost earlier on. I've just whacked on some of Molly May's tan filter in the shade dark. Um, I was gonna get extra dark, but my hair is blonde, so probably would look like a tan drain. But yeah, my skin is so soft after using those products, and as well as that, I look tan and I'm happy. So I've just done a full body of tan. I didn't go overboard, I literally just whacked on like a layer. All over, I'm just gonna stand up and hopefully this doesn't fall. I just have some cycling shorts on. How nice are these shorts? Like, they go with everything. I lounge all day, every day in them. Like, if I'm having a day where I shower and I wanna relax, I just throw on a t-shirt, like a baggy t-shirt, and these, I have them in grey as well, and the fit is on point. Oh! <laughs> and you would have seen as well that I have my hair braided. So, these braids, for years now I've been struggling to do them right and the room was quite dark and I was rushing. So they look somewhat okay but I know they're not like 100% but until tomorrow they'll be grand. So I'm planning to leave my hair down tomorrow and have it like really frizzy, like mermaid vibes. So I'm getting, hopefully they come out even better because I have the braids from the root down. But I wish I could do these right. I'm gonna practice so much and see if I get better at doing them. My hair is so thick, that's the problem. And when I was doing them, I had to section off my hair, so I was using this comb. Literally, this is like a colouring brush. I had to use this, the bottom of it, to layer off the hair, and it helped a lot, but so much hair. <laughs> I wore out, and I just painted my nails because the gel nails are now off. The nails I had on from Christmas stayed on for like weeks. And I had enough of them because they were discolouring. The white nail kept like going and off colour. Everything was sticking to it and Christmas is over. So one fell off and then I just ripped off the rest. So I just painted my nails this colour. And my toenails. I'm not going to show my toes because I hate feet. Like toes. Believe it or not, Molly May's tan came out so nice on me tonight. Like I know it's really dark in here. But I'm really happy with like the layer that I have got on. There's no patches and I took a risk. I put it on my face and I don't even know if it's blended out right because it's just really hard to tell at the minute because I had like moisturizer on my face. My face was still kind of a bit wet because I went in with the hydrating gel. So hopefully in the morning I won't be patched to that. If I am, I'm gonna hibernate because I'm done to get it off. Like it's gonna be so hard to get off but really happy with how it turned out in my body. And yeah guys, that's my whole Sunday night, Sunday day slash night. That's what I got up to today. I thought I'd just chopped this video, it's gonna be so long. Um, but if you got to the end, thank you so much. Like the video and subscribe and check back in tomorrow the day after for a brand new upload because I'm gonna be doing more daily vlogs. And yeah, thanks for watching.